Big salute, big salute, big salute, big salute. Man, I just heard some news, boy. They doing a Amarion in Charlotte. They done found the case. UNC Charlotte campus. Ain't there something? And my mama got a nerve to tell me I might bring something back. Man. I wonder where he was at. What did, did he travel? I don't know if he traveled or she traveled from South Africa or wherever they was traveling at. Probably in Europe somewhere. Probably in Europe somewhere. But ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. But they doing Omarion, though. They doing Omarion right now. Oh, man. Y'all, y'all, the new variant, for those y'all who slow don't know what I'm talking about, the new variant, I call it the Marion. Oh, man. In my hometown, imagine that. Imagine that. Mm, 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 mm. Imagine that. You and see Charlotte. Got the Marion. Boy, they sick out there in UNC Charlotte. <laughs> they sick out there in UNC Charlotte. Boy, what? Let's get into it, y'all. Straight into it. Chapter 31. Mystery Babylon. The Great. <laughs> According to the English interpretation, the word mystery means unknown. Uncertain, obscure, concealed, a secret, kept to oneself, between you and me, locked up, something that has not been or cannot be explained. In, the, in, theology, in theology, in theology, in theology, it is a supposed truth of fact of great religious import which is beyond human comprehension. In the time of the translation of the Bible into English, some or all of the scholars were either without spiritual understanding or downright crooks who sought to hide that truth in the book that they thought would reveal to the world their untrue selves. The mystery Babylon had not come into existence in ancient time, Babylon, under the kings Nebuchadnezzar and Belshazzar, was the great city of idol worship and evil. She was the queen of evil, rich and well fortified. But this mystery Babylon must refer to a future city of people. No city or people answers the description better than the cities and people of America. <laughs> this mystery Babylon just could not be the ancient Babylon as we know her history. That's why they say mystery Babylon. That's why so many foreigners are trying to get over there and they get there, either they get hooked or they be ready to go home. <laughs> you must remember that I am interested in bringing the truth to my people as clear as sunshine. So be not disturbed this D I S T R U B E D disturbed in seeing and hearing in the clear and simple way. For my people, for my people are the blind, deaf, and dumb of the nations of the earth. They must be taught the truth by one who knows it. I am he who knows the truth. And I have been missioned from the Lord of the worlds to tell the truth, whether it is to your liking or disliking. America and her future was not, was not known in those days when the Bible was being translated into the English language. Not until 1611 did the translators did the translators bring into existence what is known as the King James Authorized Version. According to the history, there were several attempts made before 
to get the Bible to the people in the English language, but they were met with opposition. America was discovered in 1492. These first translations of the Bible were far more near the truth than these later translations. Mm. The so-called Negro slaves were not given the King James Version to read until it was over 300 years old. Mm. The white slave masters were not interested in educated religious, <laughs> educated religious Negroes and are not today. <laughs> The so-called Negroes now must understand that which was hidden from them by their slave masters. The mystery Babylon the Great is none other than America. This mystery Babylon is full of riches, hatred, filth, fornication, adultery, drunkenness, murder of the innocent, and idol worship. Big facts, all that. Mystery Babylon is full of names of blasphemy. America is full of various religious faiths of the most ignorant kind. She was once the greatest slave bur bur buyer and seller. She has the greatest merchant marine service, the world's greatest export shippers in the merchandise of wheat, beasts, sheep, horses, chariots, gold, silver, iron, brass, wood, slaves, fine flour, corn, and many others. Yeah. Because I just heard they got um, they got some cows from Merck out here, and they like, damn, why is these cows so big? They asking questions. I think the people that bought them, which they had in the bottom now, because they say these cows just too big. They like, oh, what kind of cows is these? You must know that, and I ain't talking about them cows that's from Texas. The Texas cows, the long horns, look more like the cows in Africa. You, those are African cows in Texas, just to let y'all know that. But uh, yeah, them, yeah, the mother cows. I don't know, man. You must know that all the revelation, or at least ninety percent, is directed to America. The seventeenth and eighteenth chapters should open the so-called Negroes' eyes to the white race and white Christianity. There is no hereafter for the white race. Some few who are in Asia will stick around for a while. <laughs> and the next chapter is chapter 32. Babylon could have been saved, but she was not. <laughs> uh, Babylon could have been saved, but she was not. Man book getting good y'all so stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned big salute big salute big salute pray for my city man pray for my folks in my city man Omarion Omarion variant is in Charlotte North Carolina oh my god that's just God letting me know don't, don't come on right now <laughs> don't come on right now Stay right there, you know. Hold on. Just sit back and keep watching. Because like I told y'all, man, it's every day. It, it now look like it's going from every day. Man, hopefully it ain't every hour. Oh, my God. that That's, that's going to be the kicker for me. If new shit be happening every other hour, you like, man, what? When did this happen? I missed that. That happened yesterday. But so much happened yesterday. God, God, it's almighty. Pray for my city, y'all. Big salute, big salute, big salute. I hope you got the message. And remember, use your big stick while speaking gently. Aye.